Good night guys, it's Busmaster99. I don't normally do videos at night. It's currently about almost 1040 at night. I'm gonna try to keep it down. My parents are right above me sleeping. That's right, the garage is right under the master bedroom. But I figured I'd update you guys on the mouse mobile. It's been a week since I last made a YouTube video. And the dog next door is barking. <laughs> what do you know? All right, let's get right into the car. Whoop. By the way, guys, if you haven't turned off your start instructions, I highly recommend you do so, especially if you know how to do it, because it's really not necessary for the car to tell you every time unless you're a new driver. Because if you turn that off, you get the logo display, as you saw earlier. I don't know how to, um, I don't know how to get it to come back. But anyway, I'm gonna turn on the accessory power. If only I can get this stupid thing to focus. All right, accessory mode. Oh, looks like the ignition needs to be on to see the mileage. Yep. So as you can see, I need another oil change. What do you know? I've got about 54,500 miles on the clock. I do drive this car about 200, 250 miles a week for commuting to college and back. And it says I have about 85% fuel in the tank. So as you saw, I've got winter tires, although you already knew that. I'm currently in Week 9 out of 10 in my second trimester of college. It ain't easy being a college sophomore, I'll tell you that. But, week 9 means a couple of things. Spring break is coming up, at least pretty soon for me anyway. Because people on trimester schedules, whether this be for high school or college or whatever, you name it, Spring break is about a week later than my spring break. And the dog is going crazy. <laughs> I could not imagine having a dog as a pet, but yet again, it's man's best friend. I also tried upgrading my high beams to LED, but I couldn't do that because for some reason, although I bought the right bulb and they are um, the high beams for the Civic, so the 9006, when I connected them and tried the high beams, they did not turn on. Just makes me wonder if my car hates LEDs now since I last took it into the dealer and they may, they might have updated the car. Who knows? I think it's something to do with the car, not the bulb. But you guys let me know. Because I have not had um, an LED bulb be defective out of the box like that. So, on spring break, in a couple of weeks, I am going to have my regular tires put back on. Speaking of tires, I think I might know why I lost control of the Mercedes. The front tires are more worn than the rear tires. And I think part of the reason is because when mom and I went to the dealer August of last year, we said no to a tire rotation. And you should do your tire rotations every 10,000 miles. And this is for any car, well, unless you own a Bugatti, then you gotta do tire rotations sooner, or maybe not even that, because I've heard Bugatti tires have to be changed every, what, 2,500 miles? So yeah, they don't last long. They don't even need to be rotated. They need to be replaced every 2,500 miles, and that 
costs $30,000 for a set of four. So, yeah, if you own a Bugatti, you're a very lucky man or woman. But back to the Mouse Mobile. Or actually, you know what? I'll finish up with the Mercedes first, then I'll go back to the Mouse Mobile. So, what's going to happen is we're going to have this rim repaired. That's right, repaired, not replaced. So that the curb rash will be gone. I called Mercedes Benz of St. Charles. They quoted me for around $175 to $200, which I'd be happy to pay for. I make plenty from YouTube. And since I caused the damage, I'm going to pay to fix it. Only seems fair. Because after all, we're going to be keeping that Mercedes for another seven years. We're doing a 10-year run on it. We've had it since 2016. Who knows if I'll still be making videos then, or if YouTube will even allow creators to make videos. Probably. But anyway, oh yeah, we're also getting winter tires next winter or before next winter for the Mercedes so that we're prepared. Because all season tires are not meant for snow despite being called all season tires. And this is regardless of whether you have four wheel drive, all wheel drive, two wheel drive, whatever. Fun fact, this car with winter tires drives better and is safer in the snow than the Mercedes with all-season tires and all-wheel drive. Interesting. But yeah, so two weeks from now is final exams week, and then after final exams, I'm on spring break. And then I can get this taken in. I'm going to have the regular tires put back on, like I've said, and I'm also going to have the oil change done. So that's pretty much it for this video. The mod. I might do a video explaining why I installed an Acura switch or turn signal stock in place of the Honda one. But until next time, smash that thumbs up in the face if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, do whatever you do best, and peace out. Look forward to seeing you next time.